So because it's such a fragmented world, I think in order to bridge the gap between TV and digital video, it's really figuring out the best way that they work together. Um, understanding whether you need to increase the frequency or you need to extend your reach, how it works together in order to drive conversion is going to be really key. So it's going to be about, about the measurement and then how it's going to really work together. Unfortunately, it's creeping up more and more frequently. I don't think that GRP should be the common metric because it's really dumbing down digital, but I do understand the need for a common metric between both because TV is still a major player in the space and making sure that CM the CMOs understand exactly what they're getting kind of requires that. So it's figuring out the balance of how much do we make it common versus how much do we um, ensure that we are keeping the integrity of digital measurement. I think there's a huge opportunity for addressable to align with storytelling because then we can get into sequential messaging. But it's going to be very difficult because there's still walled gardens and the opportunity to control the frequency and the amount of times that you are hitting a particular target to make sure that the sequential message makes sense and then tells a full story is still tricky. There's the technology is there, sort of, but if all the players in the space aren't going to participate, you still have silos. So branded content and custom content definitely has a positive place in the industry right now, especially because it's the one way to work around ad blockers, right? Um, but it does perform differently than typical banners. You're not really looking at click-through metrics or things like that. So typically we employ like a Millward Brown brand study and we look at how the authenticity or how the native elements of it are really impacting brand favorability or purchase intent.